Doug McPhail now sings the number one ballad, All Ashore. Everybody is asleep. That is, everybody except Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford. Poor Daddy finds it difficult to rest comfortably on account of somebody snoring. Listen. Who's snoring like that? Good heavens, that's Snooks. I can't sleep with that racket. I'm going to turn her over. Boy, that kid snores like a truck driver. Snooks, turn over. Snooks. Huh? Who is it? It's Daddy. Hello, Daddy. I'm sorry I had to wake you. Go back to sleep. Well, you woke me up. You were snoring. I wasn't snoring, Daddy. Oh, no, you were snoring loud enough to wake the dead. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. I heard you. I was dreaming about a dog, and you heard the dog growling. Oh, go to sleep. <laughs> wasn't it a funny dream, Daddy? Now, how do I know? You was in it. Okay, start dreaming again. I'm going to try to get some sleep myself. Good night. Good night. Bye! What is it? My throat hurts. Oh, what's the matter with it? I was selling papers today. Selling papers? Where did you get the papers to sell? I bought them for three cents. Well, how much did you sell them for? Three cents. Well, you couldn't make any money that way. I know it, Daddy. Then why did you sell the papers? <laughs> I like to holler. Now, that's fine. No wonder your throat hurts. Now, here, take a drink and go back to sleep. <laughs> Put the light on. Well, what for? I'm afraid to sleep in the dark. Oh, nonsense. Everybody sleeps in the dark. Why? 
Because it's more restful. I always sleep in the dark. Why? Because the light bothers me. What light? The light in my bedroom. Why won't you turn it off? I never have it on. How does it bother you? Oh, leave me alone. I want to get some sleep. Good night. Good night. Sorry! What is it? Tell me a story. No, it's three o'clock in the morning and I don't feel like telling stories. Just the time you're rolling me one. All right. I'll tell you a quick one. It's about a boy named Algie and the bear. Is it funny? Oh, yes, it's very funny. (laughs) (laughs) Tell it to me, Daddy. A boy named Algie met a bear. The bear was bulgy, the bulge was Algie. Good night. (laughs) 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 Well, what's the matter? I don't like it. (laughs) Well, what do you want? Tell me about Jack and the Beanstalk. I've told you that story a dozen times. I want to hear it again. (sighs) All right. I'll tell you the story if you promise not to interrupt. All right. Once upon a time, there was a poor widow who had a son named Jack. They lived in a small... Who lived? Jack and his mother. They lived in a small village. Now, Jack's mother had always been very good to him, and he was... What to who, Daddy? Good to Jack. She was... What to who, boy? His mother. Whose mother? Jack's mother. (laughs) Ah. Now, don't you interrupt me. Jack's mother called him in one day and gave him a cow to the village. She told him... Told the cow? No, told Jack. Who told Jack? His mother. The cow is mother? No, Jack told the cow to tell his mother. I mean, his cow told the Jack. Stop mixing me up. I didn't say nothing, Daddy. Well, let me finish. Now, this poor widow... What's a widow? It's a woman whose husband went to heaven. Why? Because he died. Does everybody go to heaven when they die? No, only good people. Well, I go there. Yes, now this poor woman felt that... It... When the doggy dies, will he go to heaven, too? I suppose so. Now, Jack's mother felt... Do cats it... go to heaven, too? Yes. Now... Do cows yes. go to heaven? No! Does everybody else go? Yes. And who goes for the milk? Snooks, <laughs> do you want to hear this story or not? Uh-huh. All right, then. Now, this poor widow... Well... Look, what are you doing? You better fall into pieces, Daddy. There's two big holes in the side. Well, let me see. Wait till I turn on the light. What's those holes, Daddy? Hmm, don't fool around with them. They're just not holes in the wood. Huh? I said they're not holes. They look like holes. <laughs> they are holes. Well, why did you say they ain't? I didn't say they're not holes. I said they were not holes. And when I say they're not holes, I don't mean they're not holes. I mean they're not holes. Do you feel all right, Daddy? No, I feel terrible. I want to get some sleep. You didn't finish your story. Well, I'm not going to finish the story. Ah! Go ahead and yell. See if I care. If you don't finish your story, I'll... I'll... You will what? I'll go downstairs and break the big vase in the hall. No, that's a terrible thing to say. I really ought to thank you for that. But I know you don't mean it. Do you? No, Daddy. Well, that's better. I'm glad to see those behavior lessons I gave you are taking effect. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to bed now. And Snooks, even though I'm not going to finish the story, you have no wicked desire to go downstairs tonight and bake that vase, have you? No, Daddy. Why not? Because I broke it this morning. <laughs> what, you little... Ah! Now a word from Ted Pearson. Do you know the amazing difference the new and improved Maxwell House makes? Do you know why thousands everywhere are now adopting this remarkable new coffee? Why you are now able to enjoy coffee that is marvelously clear, smoother, and richer... Well, as you know, it was over 50 years ago in Nashville, Tennessee, when Joel Cheek perfected the original secret Maxwell House blend for the Old South's most famous hotel. Well, since that time, millions have rated Maxwell House the perfect coffee. Now, if you had a coffee which pleased as many millions as Maxwell House, you'd think twice before trying to improve it, wouldn't you? Yet it was done after hundreds of tests under the direction of 12 coffee experts a way was found to further enrich this famous blend. And now, no matter how good you thought the old, you will, we believe, marvel at the new Maxwell House. Not only will you find it richer, smoother, and more mellow, 
but you will find a wealth of cheery stimulation in every cup. The second improvement in the new Maxwell House is the famous radiant roast process, which by roasting each bean all the way through, as evenly inside as out, brings out more of the true flavor of these choice coffees. Thus, no weak coffees and no chance of bitter coffee due to parching. But discover for yourself how marvelously clear, smooth, and rich the new Maxwell House really is. This new Maxwell House coffee comes in the same familiar blue can, the famous airtight super vacuum can, which keeps it not just days fresh, but roaster fresh. Remember, it's selling at low prices, friendly to your budget. So tomorrow, ask your grocer for a pound. Now more than ever is the time to make friends with Maxwell House. Very sound, Ted. 